Good morning, guys, or good afternoon, or wherever you are, or whatever time it is. This is Charles, also as Dr. Fiona here on the internet. A uh, little bit of a unusual debacle going on with the Obama's eligibility, as you see here with the title of my, of my video. It seems that like there's a lot of kerfuffle within uh, these parties, or whether it's the government, or the lawyers, or the birthers, or whatever you want to call the, the people on the side of the lawyers and the birthers, you know, I think that um, this doesn't make any sense at all because if you check back how many years ago, and not too many years ago, of course, but like four, five, four, almost five years ago, I made a news report about this particular matter here about Obama's you know certificate and not a certificate but in general, but his background, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, something very questionable that's tied in with the records, such and such. And I'm in this debate with this one person on YouTube. Let's see. I'll, I'll let you guys decide which video it is. It's somewhere called the birthreport.com YouTube channel. And I look back here and there every now and then to see the old videos going back in between, what, 2011 and earlier. If you check back between 2007, late 2007, 2008 of this channel, up until 2011, of late 2011 just about, you'll see that there's a lot of coverage about Obama's background or whatever the case may be and I'm not and the reason why why do you think that oh, okay not why but why in your perspective guys why do you think I'm actually pursuing this type of information that can be risky to my health and not only my health as well as my my life uh, well let's just say that my my beliefs are been tarnished by this stuff because how is it that you people are saying that this that this president not only doesn't is doing war crimes, whatever like any other president does, duh. But uh, identity, like you don't have a uh, identity to show that you are a legitimate person. Now that's right there, a little bit. That's a little bit like a insult to me, who has something of you know this. What's that called? The uh, this driver, this uh, driver's license here, as you can see here, something of that sort. And what the hell? You ever want to respect your authority? Respect my authority. And you can't you can't follow the laws yourself as a leader. That tells you right there I shouldn't I shouldn't have to listen to you. I should listen to myself more often. Man, oh man, oh man, this doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> because now all of a sudden this guy who I'm who I'm in a, in a debate with, he hasn't responded back for the last several hours now. So I have to give him some time to see he might be working or whatever. And uh, we were respond we were talking for about a good month now almost. Or I should say like a uh, this guy by the name of I Gear or T Gear, excuse me, T Gear seven seven. I've been debating with him for the last week now. And for some strange reason, most of the comments at first were deleted. Then they reappeared again. Or maybe it's my perspective that's been like that. Maybe I'm seeing things, right? Of course, people say I am. I'm crazy. I'm a crazy bastard for doing this stuff. But what can I say, right? Anyway, give back a point. He explained that that President Obama, then candidate Obama, spent two million dollars to defending himself for not showing his records in court. Okay, looks like legitimate true by certain sources out there in the internet. You can look it up yourself. But then this guy showed me two articles from Salon and, uh, what's that other one? Hmm. Salon is something else. It's definitely Salon.com and PolitiFact. Now, in regards to this, it's kind of strange that these two articles are no longer there anymore. But the rest of the other articles, like the, 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 uh, the, the, the one that daily article still exists to this day somewhere on the internet. Uh, especially on the one that daily was the website. I will put it down the link below, or the links, or wherever the sources are. Uh, what what the hell is going on? I shouldn't have to deal with this stuff about this birthers and all oh, the certificate and records, all that stuff. I don't want. I shouldn't give a damn about this stuff because if I had a girlfriend, if I had a wife, the girlfriend at least to a wife, and then having the family, whatever, I wouldn't give two shits about this stuff. You know why? Because I know the fact that no matter what's going on, there's always, always an opportunity to succeed in life somehow, some way, right? But at this point, there's a lot of people out here, not a lot of people, but there are people who are high up above there, beyond the presidency or the president himself, uh, that are in charge of the world economy. Or well, not the world economy, but the United States economy, especially, specifically that. 
And when you don't have no sovereignty, when you have nothing, no uh, borders, no identity, no nothing, that right there causes a lot of chaos and anarchy and maybe even disorganization at least. Something that's all right. So all the anarchists or so far anarchists, if you really are anarchists really, you have by now dropped that control. It's a PS2 control. I play P I might Xbox is in repair right now, ladies and gentlemen. So that's why I don't see the Xbox anymore. So you should drop this controller and go outside and paint the town red like crazy. Or dr do this again. Like drop the controller like this. You know what? I'm going to go after some politicians and bankers and stuff like that, right? Something like that. <laughs> Something of that sort, right? So, sorry for the camera. But anyway, give me that one point. This, come on. If, 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 I feel so bamboozled now. I feel I've been duped because how is it that I was my own business for the last how many years or months leading up to this, you know, the, the, the Xbox Live thing. You know, my friend told me I should get Xbox Live or and, and Xbox 360. Okay, I'll get it. Then later on next year, which is from 2007 to 2008, March, I got my first day of Xbox, the March of 2008. My own business. Taking like games, politics, and food on my profile. No big deal, right? Everyday politics, people, not the Illuminati politics or Illuminati shit. <laughs> I guess I don't believe in that stuff, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, Stan, you actually provide some good information about what's going on within this particular uh, situation or overall of all the situations. So, not just, I don't blame it on one person on Xbox Live or the internet or whoever I met, I'm person, not in person, but the either the first or the first few people that show me this stuff the radio show hosts the alternative radio show hosts by the way you know that's so fucked up right there because there are guys like me who want to just have a, a fucking life they want to have a job some land some or, or, okay, not really land. Not everyone's going to have land. But a job, some money in their pocket, constant money in their pockets. Not that temporary job here, a temporary job there, a part-time job for not even, it's not even uh, six months, it's actually one month or one day, actually, because they don't want to pay you. Or that person, owner's name is, uh, what is it called? Um, <laughs> like, the, the name is, Xu, is, is Ching Chong. What, I don't know, her, that's her Chinese name, I believe. I saw on her diplomat wall the, the female name that is and they actually have a name call themselves Rachel whatever I don't know their oh, I forgot her real her Americanized name but it's like you know everyone's from another country everyone's they have different languages cultures stuff like that oh well I'm good but it was one overall language or an overall culture of some sort in here in the United States as I was, I was believe that's I, I believe right. You thought that your family telling you that oh you should read all these books, you should you know, learn about the civil rights movement and Malcolm X stuff like that. And in the end, you learn all this stuff. You thought you applied it in life, be the fighter like yeah yeah like that. It didn't matter because you still have no money. You still cannot make a business out of it. And let alone you cannot take loans out of it. You have bad credit score. Especially for student loans, I found out. Well, I don't, I don't know the entire details, but I know dollars, I bet dollars and no donuts that I have a bad credit score because I have lots and lots of bank transactions that are a little bit sus not suspicious, but continuously affected me on a daily basis, as well as student loans that took me a year to pay that, that I was late on. So, instead of taking a deferment or one of those, uh, uh, re not what they call it? something. It's called it's not uh, defer. It's called some sort of like deferment, but it's another terminology we're learning about of of that sort. Uh, when we're not paying your loans for a certain amount of period of time, so, but still accumulating interest over time as well and monthly payments. So anyway, getting back to the point, I think that we should just like I think somehow, some way, we have to come together. These two parties, the government and the lawyers, like okay. What is going on with the situation at hand? Who the hell started this bullshit? Like Trevor, what's that Trevor, what's his name? Uh, Noah, Trevor Noah, yeah. From the Daily Show, he's like, it's the war on bullshit. I see, it's the war on bullshit. Now I see it. Now I'm no, I'm no FBI agent or 
informant or a CIA informant, whatever you guys think I am. No, I'm not. And if that's the case, I wouldn't be having this uh, welfare money. They would probably give me like an easy hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Uh, just keep it a tab on you guys. And if, I, if they did offer me that, I'd be like, yeah, right. I bet you oh, give me a billion dollars a year, I might do it. <laughs> Hell, like, I want to put your money where your mouth is. You really want to be that much of an informant. You know? <laughs> I'm tired of just working for something that, you know, it's nothing. The the dollar bill says, like, all oh, all debts are considered, considered to be non uh, unavoided or not avoided, but, like, considered to be, like, non uh Solvent in a sense, you know what I mean. So you consider having your shirt in your back like this, put twenty bucks on buying the shirt. Then in the end, you find out that he take take the shirt away from you because it's in debt. And I could have sworn that four years ago we had a system called the uh, the gold backup system where the gold the dollar bills backed by gold and silver certificates, let alone not only those certificates, but also gold itself and silver itself, like that of the Fort Knox, which is a rumor right a rumor has it that Fort Knox is uh is empty, like they had no gold ones no whatsoever, and they just guarded it with uh with you know just the show the show that we have so for wealth in this country. That's what I'm coming down to. I'm I, I lack money, I lack work, I lack uh, a companion, all that stuff, and uh, and you tell me that I have to deal with this bullshit right here. If I had everything in the world, the way I said with the the campaign, job, money, etc., etc., like I said, I wouldn't care about this at all. Maybe a little bit here and there, like everyone else is doing. Like everyone has a family, getting their everyone's having have their families. Uh, they, they, I mean, everyone is get married, having a family. My my friend from uh, in the past, my childhood friend, Chrisette Michelle, who was a singer uh, of sorts with uh, BET at one point, and also some studios in California, I believe. Yo, know, she's actually prospering, and she's in the same position I was in when I was younger, being working class or poor working class, actually, uh, living in the same neighborhood here in New York City, neighborhood that neighborhood literally, but the city itself, New York City, and. She uh, she's prospering, and of course she's a woman and very attractive, you know, to most guys, whatever like me. So that's good, right? But uh, that's just one example. I'll just say the fact that what well, when you say that I say we have a capital capitalistic system, but based upon what my teachers were for my family, for compared to her family, I think someone's actually fucking with me, uh, in a sense. Because how does it you tell me a person who you tell me I should it should apply to my life? In an everyday sense, and then when I put it to my life for the last how many years, and still haven't gotten not even an easy thirty thousand dollars a year job, or thirty thousand dollars a year of any investment, or gold, silver. I got about a, few, a couple thousand dollars of gold and silver, yes, but it devalued over time when you sell into the pawn shops. So that's a little stupid right there, right? You figure that you know the, these economic leaders and news reporters saying, "Oh, gold is valuable," stuff like that. Oh, gold is this and gold is that. Uh, you know, it's going to be very valuable. But those uh, those gold coins, I forgot which gold coin it is. I forgot, but it's definitely about ninety nine point nine percent. No, it's about fifty percent silver. Just about, just about silver. If I recall correctly, I'm not sure the exact you know um, troy ounce or the purity of it. But definitely, it's under ninety nine percent. So again, my point. I don't want to be screwed anymore because I want to just take and take and take for it constantly. By the courts, and not by force. I really getting pissed off after a while. I about finding out the truth of things. I thought I found the truth. Then, or okay, originally you heard of the everyday stuff, right? The news, shooting this, shooting that, killing this, killing that, etc., etc. Uh, but then get into the other stuff, the politics, whatever. The everyday politics. George Bush took a star Iraq, two thousand three, and. You know, no weapons of mass destruction by 2007, 2006, just about. You know, it's stuff like that. But then all of a sudden you hear Obama. Okay, he's going to be the next first black president, right? Just Jackson should have been the first black president back in 1984 to, and that's well then to 88 elections. All well and good, right? But why not him, Jesse Jackson? Or his son, Jesse Jackson Jr.? Or Louis Farrakhan? Or Al Sharpton? Why Obama? Figure out if he's half breed or not, like halfway half black, 
half-breed basically, but his questionable background, why would the government want to do that? Because knowing that a guy, a citizen like myself, a natural born citizen of all, all these people, who, and everyone's a natural citizen where I live, around this area, around here, outside, you know, we're natural born citizens. And you're telling me that he, Obama's from a, not from another country, but doesn't have no identification whatsoever? Not even this? Let me see. Not even this, per se? Not even ID. What does it say about me, personally? I should have gone and an, an, uh, what's called anarchist on the on, uh, in society here in society, right? Here in the United States, get some people together and fuck shit up, fuck up the banks, fuck up the uh, the merchants of uh, uh, that are in conjunction with the banks, stuff like that, etc., etc., right? Tear down town, act like Ferguson all over again, right? Some of that regard, right? But in the end, it's just it's a stupid revolution more than it is a second American revolution. So call this the stupid revolution. <laughs> uh. As you can see here, back of me, that uh, you see for the last how many videos now, for a good how many years maybe, uh, had the Obama, uh, this Obama poster called Fascism with a Joker on it, the Obama Joker. You know, I think it is, it's like, it's, it's valid, it's, it's not valid. Because, or if, this, if we were really in that fascism, really, by now we've all been in FEMA camps, we all have uh, the, uh, Chips in our hands, the the RFID chip, all this other good stuff, right? All the good stuff the government saying that's good, right? Quote unquote. I could just play video games all the time like I did when I was a kid, and work, have a wife, if not a wife, then I have a girlfriend. First time, how many years? That'd be nice, right? I'm gonna try to sound desperate, but at this rate, for what my health is like, I cannot, I can't take any chances because. My father died from kidney failure, from a, from a, from a known condition, I'm not going to say it, that's a connection with me, in a hereditary wise, that he died in his early 30s when I was 6 years old. So, with me, that being with me, I feel like that I'm 20 years old, so how many more years I have left until it actually gets worse? And so, of course, losing weight, of course, exercise, eat healthy, right? All that stuff, right? But in the end... It might be too little too late. Even if I do all that stuff, my father was doing the same thing for eating at night, weightlifting, basketball, maybe swimming. I, I don't know if he does swimming, but definitely basketball. He was doing a lot of basketball without, without a lot of weightlifting. All that other stuff, right? And he still died from that disease. So what does it tell me right there? I have a little time left to pass on my legacy. I'm not trying to sound like I'm hurry time like like that instant gratification. Well we do live in the instant gratification system as like that, right? <laughs> but you figure go on these online dating websites you can find anyone, every anyone of the choice. Like, come on, pick pick it's like it's like ice cream basically. Go to Baskin Robbins, or like how many flavors are there? Over fifteen flavors. Chocolate, peanut butter, and cookie dough and Marshmallows, whatever they're selling, even, for, even vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, fuck all, all the basic shit, right? Choose for whatever you want, choose and ch stick to it as long as possible, and maybe forever and ever, right? My favorite is chocolate peanut butter, so if I can find something like that's black, yeah, black woman, and also it's like I have a, a, a creamy goodness to her, a creamy buttery goodness to her. <laughs> help her, help her, help her. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh uh. <laughs> now you know, so probably that's a little bit crazy, perhaps even unusual. <laughs> but, um, give that up seriously, though. Um, someone has to give. So I was not telling the truth, or many people are not telling the truth. Now I'm not perfect. I lie sometimes, but not, I mean, God damn, who's do who's patient zero behind this Obama's eligibility shit? Who is really patient zero? I want to see this patient zero guy and tell him to his face, why the fuck you did this? 
you can you mess me up. My friend who introduced me to the Xbox introduced me to the uh, uh, Fear and then Halo stuff like that. I, I played Halo when I was a kid when I was 14 years old back in 2001. Something like when the first Halo came out, that's fine. But I didn't get the, I wanted to get the Xbox. I was more a PS, the P, PlayStation guy. And Nintendo 64 and Nintendo GameCube, not GameCube, uh, Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo and, and original Nintendo, by the way. I still have the original Nintendo, so. So I was like, come on. This is a big waste of time. I feel like I wasted so much time with this Obama shit. Who wants to really spend that much time on this stuff? Really? Who, who really wants to do this? Just a, for shits and giggles only. It's supposed to be pursuing for truth, justice, and resolution for all. Resolve. That's what I was thinking of. And to T Gear, uh, if you're watching this, thank you for showing me the other side of things. At the same time, you know, it's still questionable what you're saying because you still have to show me information about the links and stuff like that. Because those articles that you posted to the salon at Politifax, they no longer exist there. Like someone took them down. Either you mistyped it or the, the website, the these news companies purposely took them down because they were too illegitimate. They were too uh I guess you can call it discardable. So, please keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that hunt the truth, like Halo 5 says, or those Major Nelson will say, or these gamers out there, or whatever, hunt the truth, hashtag hunt the truth, something like that. <laughs> Pursue the truth! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> How did I say, guys? Links in the below the description box.